another saddle donkey training tip, um, especially for a high strung donkey like Traveler. Um, you want to make sure that each different area you approach, you approach slowly. Um, the other day, we took Traveler off the farm for the first time, so I just hiked with him, let him get used to being off the farm, let him get used to, you know, this is something that is going to be normal for you, and we'll be doing that a lot. Um, but also something I got to work on Mr. Traveler with is riding him in the woods, um, getting him used to the woods more. Um, I've mainly trained him in the arena and in open field and on the trails that have more um, of brambles beside them, not really under a big canopy of woods. And we went under a little canopy the other day and I loosely hit a tree limb in it. Freaked him out a little bit. Well, he did that little donkey bolt where he like bolted a few steps, but he stopped and he calmed down. But that tells me that, you know, with the trails that I ride on, I need to really work on um, getting him used to um, wooded areas and dark trails and, um, you know, lots of big trees, heavy canopy forest. So it's just a tip. If you're training a donkey, um, for really anything and you need to take that into consideration that each area especially an area that's totally different needs to be approached slowly and especially with a high strung donkey um x rescue that used to be a cattle guard because sometimes they can be very very self-preserving more so than others um because they're used to taking care of themselves they're used to taking care of their fields and so he's just on the lookout to take care of things and he's got to get used to me taking care of him and letting me make decisions. So we approach that slowly with a rescue donkey. I um, don't want to rush it with a rescue donkey, you know, and try not to flood him. Okay, so when you're trying to desensitize your donkey to canopy trees and to woods, it's good to go through with your donkey in gear before you get on him and just hit the tree limbs and just let him hear that because I have been on a donkey went by hit a tree limb and they kind of bolted on me so you want to make sure your donkey is cool with this sound above them traveler used to be scared of that but now he's getting much better so I know when I get on him if I hit a little bit of a tree limb or it brushes up against me I know he's not going to get scared and bolt away. So that's just a little tip for if you're training a saddle donkey, especially a high-strung saddle donkey.